The GoPro Hero 8 Black, we've already seen lots of content at length about how well this can work as a vlogging or even an action camera, you know, kind of like why you would buy it. Honestly, if you haven't used one, you are missing out because legitimately for a small portable camera, it's darn impressive and not necessarily only specifically for action, but today we're gonna take that a little bit farther and we're going to build a full kit made out for the Hero 8 Black that would turn it into an awesome vlogging kit without those extremely expensive mods for the camera. We're gonna get quality products and accessories, but not break the bank doing it. So, uh, how are we gonna do that? Let's find out. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. I'm gonna throw that case. There is no better way to start off a kit than in the center. And in the uh, center of any camera kit, is the camera itself, right? We're just learning, you're learning all sorts of stuff today. And this isn't gonna be a crazy kit with a metal cage and a light and all sorts of junk that you don't actually need or won't really use. These are pieces, these things right here that I've assembled are gonna solve a few key problems with the GoPro and it will take your videos to the next level without being super expensive because it, cameras can get expensive if you haven't noticed by watching this channel. On to the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Full disclosure and in fairness, I started off pretty lukewarm about the Hero 8 Black when it was initially released, but through tons of use and bringing it with me almost everywhere. We, I mean, you've seen this with me over the past few months. This camera has really grown on me. It can record in 4K at 24, 30, and 60 frames per second with full hyper smooth stabilization throughout. It can also record in 2.7K at 24, 30, 60, and 120 frames per second, and 1080p at 24, 30, 60, 120, and 240 frames per second, with all of those different frame rate options having different levels of stabilization. Now I'm tired, that was a lot of numbers to say. And the stabilization, we talked about stabilization. The stabilization inside of this camera is absolutely stunning. GoPro's HyperSmooth 2.0 is phenomenally good. If you are violently shaking around, it will do a combination of cropping and algorithmic guessing that will smooth the absolute crap out of your footage. Did you know that that's how footage gets smoothed out? That's how it gets smoothed out. It's got a fully waterproof construction, so you do not need an additional case if you do want to take this in as low as 10 meters of water. There are additional dive housings if you need it, and it will take it to the max. Wait, wrong GoPro. That's an everyday, that's a t channel joke here for the everyday dad. On the bottom of the GoPro, it comes with two little built-in feet so you can mount the camera by itself to any standard action camera mount without actually needing an additional cage. And this, this is actually, these are my f some of my favorite features on display with the Hero 8 Black. I've complained about it before, I'm now in love with these. And on the back is a gigantic touchscreen that will both allow you to see what you are filming from the back, but it also has the absolute easiest to use camera interface ever. Even if you don't know anything about how cameras work, this is darn simple to use. And if you've never used a camera or you've only used like a cell phone, this is as easy as it gets to use. Trust me, I use all the cameras. Now I won't bore you with too many technical details or camera nerd stuff beyond this, but I will say one thing that the video footage coming out of the Hero 8 Black looks amazing. And it's way better than any other action camera I've used before, legitimately. Like legitimately, for a camera of this type, the skin tones look on point. The sky looks like an actual sky and not some kind of neon blue world ending nightmare. And even boring woods in gross fall browns, they don't look terrible. The camera is the center and despite what my glowing recommendation in the beginning of the video might allude to, fancy words, this camera does have a few weaknesses that we need to overcome. Some of these are severe and could be deal breakers without some of these pieces. First off, we're using this $10 lens and screen protector, which is absolutely the first thing you need to buy. And when I mean the first thing, I mean buy this or something like this before your GoPro or with your GoPro because spoilers, if you haven't seen the rest of my content, the Hero 8 is missing a removable lens cover. So if you scratch this, I mean, I guess you could always buy another one. Seriously, of all the things we need to fix today, this is the thing that you have to, like you don't have a choice, you have to fix this because this is the worst in my opinion. It's not all doom and gloom though, these are pretty darn easy to install and they were relatively cheap and it will give you the ease of mind that your brand new expensive camera won't get made useless because of one scratch or lots of scratches. I'm not saying I fall down in the woods a lot, 
I, I fall down in the woods a lot. Buy these. Even if you don't agree with the rest of the kit here, buy some of these lens protectors. Next up is only one of two official GoPro accessories for the whole kit. This silicon case solves a problem that I've had with, the camera itself is great when you're walking around, it's super small and with that insane stabilization, I've gotten rid of my action camera gimbal, but when I'm done using it, what, I mean, what do you do with it? I mean, it's a little big to go in like a standard pocket and I don't really wanna take my backpack on and off all the time just to put this thing in. Enter the lanyard attached to this case. The case itself will provide scratch resistance to the body of the camera, but the real key here is it holds this lanyard in place. When you put the camera down, you can. Sounds like a simple thing, and maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe. But I hate, I hate having things in my hands when I'm hiking or running or adventuring. I wish, I wish I'd purchased this so much longer before because it's just so much nicer. Hey, we're doing vlogging. Hey, what's up everybody? Then you drop it, you're done. And then when, when something happens, oh, you pick it back up again and you can go. The case slips right on, feels great, and only costs 20 bucks. I highly, highly recommend it again. Look at that. Took five seconds while I was talking. Boom. Next up in the kit, let's solve another problem. Holding the camera by itself is absolutely valid, easy, and will give you great results. But if you want a little more variety in your angles, want to get more things in shots, or you need like a big stick to hit things with, enter the El Grande. This is the other official GoPro accessory in this kit. And while yes, it looks ridiculous and it is very big, this is my favorite GoPro accessory of all time. Heck, this is probably my favorite selfie stick slash monopod slash camera stabilization thing of all time. I take this everywhere I bring my GoPro. And since I bring my GoPro with me almost everywhere, I always have the El Grande. It's built like an absolute tank. The body is covered with a very nice grippy rubber that makes holding it so easy. And the build quality is sturdy enough that, I mean, again, much like in the Lumix G7 video, you could use this for self-defense when out on the trail. I mean, just, I don't wanna hit somebody with this because I bet it would hurt. It does telescope out into a crazy long selfie stick that really gives the GoPro serious reach. You can change the angle of the camera We're using this little adjustable ball head here on the top. And it connects to the GoPro with the, now I don't exactly know what these are called, which for someone that's been making content about GoPros for like three years, you'd think I'd figure it out, but it's this little collapsible mount. We'll call it the collapsible mount that's like part of the sticky mount thing. I've used this thing while running, while hiking. I've used it in the rain, in the snow. Again, I use this darn El Grande everywhere. It, if the lens protector is the first thing you buy, if you really want to get some crazy versatility out of your GoPro, I've recommended everything here for a reason, but this one, it's pricey, but it's absolutely worth the money. Now, if you don't want to carry this gigantic mono selfie pod stick, coined the everyday dad, there are smaller options out there, something like this. I found a cheaper one on Amazon. You don't need to spend too much on a selfie stick as they all generally do the same thing. Much like the El Grande, this will telescope out and with the width you can get on the GoPro, you'll still be able to get roughly the same kind of shots. This thing can go to super view and you'll get like, you will still be able to get everything in frame. This one was cheap, it's light, it won't take up very much room, and it has enough of a reach. I say this a lot when I'm out hiking, running, or adventuring. Ounces equal pounds, and I find a direct correlation to how heavy the crap I'm carrying around is to my enjoyment of that activity. So light stuff is important. Now, even though it doesn't fully rotate around like the GoPro option, it does have the ability to let you tilt your GoPro up and down when you tighten it in. So you do get some extra functionality out of it, and some of these do have Bluetooth connections which I don't really find all that useful anymore with something like the GoPro because it has voice commands that work well enough to not need a Bluetooth controller, which might be why they stopped marketing their own Bluetooth controller. I just learned something. So we've all got, we've got all of this stuff, right? You can just, we'll just take all this, we'll toss it in a bag and we'll be done. You can't just toss it all in a bag, it'll get messed up. So the next thing would be a nice tough case to toss around all of this stuff and any smaller pieces like little mounts, adapters, SD cards, you would be surprised at how much of that small stuff you'll end up acquiring over the life of these cameras. I have junk all over, all over the place. I'm, these little things you'll get everywhere. This $10 case is just about the perfect size and shape for keeping your action camera accessories. I mean, it won't, it won't fit the El Grande. 
so you'll need to put this somewhere else. But it will fit the rest of this, and will keep the rest of these items snug, while also protecting all of your other stuff from having all of these rough and tumble, like having all this stuff bounce around in your bag could break some of your other gear or scratch your... See, like that. Or it could scratch some of your other gear, and you don't want that. It doesn't need, all your other gear doesn't need all that action up in its face. So now that we've seen all this, we've seen all of the gear we've talked about today, let's pull all of this vlogging kit together and hop outside and see how they work with a vlogging test. See you out there. <laughs> okay, and welcome to the vlogging test on the GoPro Hero 8 Black with the entire kit that we just made. And now that I'm out here, I realize that you can't actually see it because I'm looking at it. You can't, you can't look at it. I, maybe you can see it through the reflection in my sunglasses. But yeah, this is the kit that we were just talking about. I'm using the El Grande as like my selfie stick slash monopod. It is absolutely so. This whole video is not meant to just say like, go out and buy the El Grande. But the El Grande is 100% my favorite like GoPro accessory of all time. It gives you so much versatility in this. And when I bought it, I was like, bleh, but I love it. Something you may have noticed that we left out in the video is we don't have an audio device, you know, with the GoPro Hero 8 Black. You might be asking yourself, Gary, Everyday Dad, why not have an audio device? You're always talking about how important audio is. I think the audio being recorded by the GoPro Hero 8 is the best you're going to find in any camera. And I don't just mean like action camera. I mean like any camera ever. This is better than just every other camera on the market. I, you don't need an audio device. I don't think you need to buy the media mod unless you specifically have like audio requirements that you need to plug into something else. I think this is just the best. And even though we're like, we're losing the light, you can see what little bit here. I think the image quality is great. I think this is an amazing vlogging camera. I think this might be the best vlogging camera, especially when you assemble this kit that we've just been talking about this whole video. It's all coming together. Okay, back inside. Ooh, and we're back. So at the end of the day, we spent about $100 on accessories. But if you do cut the El Grande out, it's about 40 bucks, which is less than the cost of one of those mods. And I think all of this will give you an awesome vlogging slash travel video kit for your GoPro Hero 8 Black. And if you liked this video and you're a little more curious about the Hero 8 Black, click the video over here that I've wrapped the lanyard around and you'll be able to find out what I think after six months of, uni of using this tiny titan of action. Thanks for watching.